With its breathtaking scenery and natural beauty, Colorado is a year-round destination. The state is nothing less than stunning, with a diversity ranging from the majestic Rocky Mountains to the rolling hills, gorgeous alpine lakes, rivers, waterfalls, and the high desert of the Colorado Plateau. Mountain towns are a haven for skiers, hikers, climbers, mountain bikers, and outdoor enthusiasts of all kinds, but they're also wonderful places to relax. Scenic drives through parks and along state highways are some of the best ways to see the state's amazing sights. In some of the national parks and monuments, you can see and learn more about the remnants of the cultures that once inhabited the area. You can also learn more about the dinosaurs that once roamed it. There are a lot of beautiful places to visit in Colorado, and today, we will show you 15 of the best. Before we begin, please click on the subscribe button and ring the bell to receive notifications when new videos are uploaded. Number 15. Pikes Peak in Pike National Forest. The snow-capped Pikes Peak is one of the Southwest's famous 14ers, mountains that stand over 14,000 feet. Colorado Springs can be easily seen from the summit of the mountain. It is the second most visited mountain in the world after MD Fuji. A Pikes Peak Highway, off Highway 24 west of Colorado Springs allows you to drive to the summit, unlike many mountain peaks that are inaccessible to the average person. It takes about 1.5 hours to drive to the summit. Alternatively, you can take the scenic 8.9-mile Pikes Peak Cog Railway, which takes just over 3 hours to reach. Number 14. Gunnison National Park. The Grand Canyon in Colorado offers some of the most stunning views in the state. More than 2,000 feet deep, the Black Canyon was carved by the Gunnison River millions of years ago and has impressed spectators since then, including the Ute tribes who once lived there. As well as its stunning scenery, the Black Canyon also offers fishing waters, towering rock formations, hiking trails, and skiing opportunities. During the night, visitors can gaze up at the stars in this international dark sky park instead of at the rocks and rivers below. Number 13. Mesa Verde National Park. Mesa Verde National Park contains 5,000 of America's best-preserved archaeological sites, including 600 cliff dwellings, which were once home to the ancestral Pueblo people. Travelers should keep their physical health and limitations in mind when visiting the sites, since many of them are only accessible by ranger-led tours, which may require walking, climbing, and crawling. The sometimes strenuous journeys are well worth it, however, due to the park's rich history. Number 12. Crested Butte. The last great Colorado ski town and Colorado's wildflower capital, Crested Butte is a magnet for outdoor enthusiasts year-round. While the town is best known for its extreme terrain and steep slopes, skiers and snowboarders of all skill levels will find trails for all skill levels in winter. To take advantage of the hundreds of miles of bike trails in Crested Butte, visitors can trade in their skis and snowboards for mountain bikes. Come to Crested Butte in July and enjoy the festivities of the Crested Butte Wildflower Festival. Number 11. Grand Junction. A great place to explore attractions such as Colorado National Monument and Grand Mesa in Colorado's Western Slope region, Grand Junction is the largest city in its region. But don't forget about Grand Junction itself. Main Street is a bustling shopping district with restaurants and a vibrant arts community. In addition, Grand Junction is home to one of the largest outdoor sculpture collections in the country. Colorado's wine country also makes it one of the best places to taste wine.
Number 10. Great Sand Dunes National Park. Located in the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, Great Sand Dunes National Park and Preserve offers an unparalleled outdoor experience. It is possible to sled down the highest sand dunes in North America or float down Medano Creek in the park. Aside from hiking, fat biking, and horseback riding, travelers can admire the unfiltered night sky when camping in the area. Although the Great Sand Dunes are open year-round, keep in mind that winters can be chilly and summers can bring scorching sand and thunderstorms. Number 9. Boulder. Boulder is Denver's smaller neighbor, but it's no less impressive. With the Rocky Mountains and Flatirons in the background, Boulder offers the relaxation of an outdoor escape as well as the energy of a city. Hiking and biking the city's trails or tubing down Boulder Creek will appeal to nature lovers. There are several beer trails in Boulder as well as boutiques and restaurants on Pearl Street Mall for those looking for more urban entertainment. Number 8. Colorado Springs. There are no ski slopes in Colorado Springs, which sets it apart from its mountainous counterparts. Even though the city lacks slopes, it is home to incredible hiking areas like Pikes Peak, which inspired Catherine Lee Bates to write, America the Beautiful. With a mix of small-town charm and a variety of attractions, including the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Training Center, Colorado Springs is the perfect place to go on vacation. Number 7. Fail. Celebrities and winter sports enthusiasts flock to this iconic ski town every year. Although Vail is known for its ski and snowboarding slopes, the town has more to offer. With thousands of acres of snowy trails and one of the largest single mountain resorts in the country, the town has more to offer. In addition to ziplining and mountain coaster rides, Vail's epic discovery area is open when the snow melts. Betty Ford Alpine Gardens and Vale's Boutiques are good places for those seeking less adrenaline-inducing entertainment. Number 6. Garden of the Gods. Garden of the Gods, a national natural landmark near Colorado Springs, has jagged stone towers and fins that rise 300 feet from the ground. The landscape and distant mountains complete the scene as giant boulders and rock piles surround the fins. There are 15 miles of walking trails, most of which are short and easy, that allow you to explore the bizarre rock formations up close. There are a variety of activities in the park, including rock climbing, road biking, mountain biking, horseback riding, and jeep tours through the foothills and Garden of the Gods. Number 5. Colorado National Monument. Colorado National Monument is located just outside of Grand Junction and Fruita. It has a scenic road leading through some outstanding scenery. It is not typical mountain scenery, but rather a landscape of huge rock spires, cliff walls, canyons, and a desert-like setting with scrubby bushes and small trees. Most people drive through the monument along Rim Rock Drive and stop at the lookouts that peer over the landscape below. The road is also a popular road biking area, with hardy souls peddling their way up to the lookouts. There are a number of day hikes accessible from the monument, most of which involve moderate elevation changes ranging from 300 feet to over 1,000 feet. Number 4. Mount Evans. In Colorado, Mount Evans reaches an elevation of 14,271 feet and the Mount Evans Scenic Byway extends almost to the summit. This is the highest paved road in the country, 
reaching over 14,130 feet. Above the treeline, you'll see meadows, lakes, and rolling mountains in the distance. The area is so open and exposed that you'll have a good chance of seeing wildlife, including bighorn sheep. You can drive from Denver to Mount Evans, about 60 miles away, in less than two hours. However, this is a seasonal highway that is closed in the winter. Number 3. Denver. As well as being Colorado's largest city, Denver is also its cultural center. While you can find outdoor adventures anywhere in the state, Denver offers the best of both worlds. The city is filled with top-notch museums, lively sports venues, prime shopping streets, and an unmatched beer scene. In addition, just outside city limits, you can drive the scenic Mount Evans Scenic Byway, which takes you to the Rockies. Number 2. Telluride. In spite of its small size, Telluride offers 2,000 acres of skiable terrain and terrain that is suitable for beginners as well as experts. Telluride is best known for its highly regarded ski slopes. Aside from the hiking trails and paragliders that soar through the air during the warmer months, festival goers also attend the town's plethora of music, film, and food festivals. For some of Telluride's most stunning panoramas, drive the San Juan Skyway or ride the gondola to Mountain Village. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Scenic Sphere. Number 1. Rocky Mountain National Park. To find out why Rocky Mountain National Park is one of the most visited national parks in the country, visit Beaver Meadows Visitor Center. You can learn about the park and find out which trails to hike at the Visitor Center. Winter is an ideal time to switch from hiking to skiing or snowshoeing. Drive the scenic Trail Ridge Road and experience the world from your own vehicle if you prefer. The road reaches an elevation of more than 12,000 feet at its highest point. We wish you a great time. Thank you.